All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial video. I'm going to take you through exactly how to make bends such as these and how to make them uh, exactly. Now, please bear with me. This is the first time I'm doing one of these tutorial videos. So sometimes I'm looking somewhere, but the camera is not necessarily pointed at where it should be pointed. So um, this is uh, the uh, uh, start of the new this is not a drill you can see pretty much every piece of HDP in here is bent you've got the bulkheads for the chassis you've got the inner bulkheads for the lifter motor and also the base plate is also bent going bent crazy there and for any one of you who also wants to do the same um, here's basically what you need a heat gun this is mine I've been using it since the start since I started building which is now four years ago time flies and you need your material uh, in my case I'm just using two offcuts these are 10 millimeter white HDPE uh, of course as you can see here this is 15 mil this can also be bent but naturally it will be a lot more difficult um, and you need a workbench which has a corner on it uh, why that is you will see later now the first thing that we're going to be doing is clamping this thing on the workbench so what you need to do next is grab one of these a c clamp this is what i've been using for all of my bands you can see also from the way that the corner of this table looks that you know it will be charred somewhat um, it won't catch fire uh, um, 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 if you uh, do things right, if you do things properly, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. It is basically uh, 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 very important that this piece that's sticking out at the other side of your uh, uh, workbench, that this piece is as long as possible. Why? Because you want to bend it and you need purchase. So the further away you can grab it, from the uh, uh, bending point, of course, the easier it will be to bend. The heat gun, there it goes, ton ton ton. And what we're going to be doing, and I hope that you will be able to see, and that the uh, um, uh, auto zoom will not mess it up too much, is that you will see it is quite glossy. You can see that it. Uh, is uh, uh, reflecting the light quite easily. We're first going to heat this part and then you will see soon enough that the uh, uh, gloss will disappear. It will be a sort of matte finish. There it goes, you can see it happening. This is the first stage. This also makes your HDP a lot easier to write on and to paint, by the way. But that's a different matter entirely. You will see it's starting to bend as well. What you don't want to do is hold it at one place like this. This is not good, because then it will char. So we have to keep it moving around like this it is of course also important to do the underside and now we get near the next stage. The next stage is that the material will be become translucent and this is a very dangerous stage. It's dangerous because if you go too far the material will char and then it will look ugly. Specifically of course with this white HDP. Here you can see this, this, the next stage, you will see it's starting to become translucent now here in this little spot you see over there. It's quite hot, I shouldn't be touching it, I'm an idiot. Health and safety. <laughs> and there we go, the spot becomes bigger. And we are, we, keep, we have to keep on touching it as well by the way. I forgot to say that, you have to keep on touching 
the material to see how bendable it is, how flexible it has become. Because then it will give you information as to, okay, how much longer do I need to keep heating it? Where do I need to keep heating it? And it sends some resistance at the underside of the material. So I have to get some more heat in here. You will see the translucent spot here. It's like it's sort of glistening in the sun, in the morning sun. Okay, it's very flexible as you can see. So I'm gonna turn that off. And what you want to do, usually what I do now, is that I just take it out entirely like this. And then I start bending like that. Now the next part is the part that's quite tricky. I hold it like this. Now you can wait until you're 87 years old for it to cool down, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. And here we are. This is the finished piece done with one hand. <laughs> Um, there are a few things that you have to, of course, know as well, other than uh, the longer your piece, the better it is. Size, indeed, does matter in this case. Sorry, sorry about this, guys. I have to, you know, I have to concede this. Um, um, the wider the piece is, it will be harder for you to bend it because you need to have a bigger area. Some area, it needs to be evenly heated as well because otherwise the bend it will uh, uh, be at an angle, so it won't be straight. Uh, you also have to make sure uh, um, and that it is actually fully quenched. It is still a little bit warm, but it won't really bend back that much anymore. Uh, um, um, and you have to be quick. As soon as you're done with heating it, you have to run to uh, the nearest sink and quench it and then it locks it into place and then you have your piece. Now, you can also go for uh, uh, pieces which, are, which have a very gradual bend, but naturally that will require maybe a bit less heating. Now we went quite far with the heating because we wanted to have this 90 degree bend, but if you want a more flowing kind of bend, then you simply make sure uh, 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 that you don't put as much heat in because then the bend will be a little bit more even and won't be as straight. This is a piece of 15 mil. This is when I started making this chassis for uh, Wu. Um, this was the first time I made a chassis bending HCP. Uh, so what I did, I took a piece, a cut-off piece uh, um, um, of HCP, 15 mil, I marked it down every 10 millimeters and just started bending to see what it would do to the material, how much centimeters would go, how much millimeters would go into the bend. Uh, um, and um, I can only say that practice makes perfect. So hopefully that will uh, be useful to you as well. So uh, good luck bending guys. And hopefully see you next time. We won season three. But first guys from Bugger Balls, take a break. When I say we, you say woo, get bending people. Close about rule. So, forgot to say, safety disclaimer, these things are freaking hot. So pay attention when you're done with bending because these things will stay hot for quite some time.